everybody and welcome to Halloween's edition edition of crumble cookies um sorry for the lazy video I'd give you a late start I'm a bit under the weather this weekend there's a flu bug going around my town um and I still feeling a little a little off the off the mark uh here today but you know, like they say in Hollywood, the show must go on. The show must go on. Four good cookies this week. I did not get the sugar cookie. And you know why? Because I don't do sugar cookies. Oh, did you see that? Stuff is just falling apart behind me. Um, We also have two chill cookies today. I believe it's the Blue Monster... And the almond coconut, I believe. Um, so let's get started. There's some new flavors that I, maybe I haven't had in the past. Um, that the little little creative or little twist. Like I said, I'm not doing the mother's cookie. I'm having some te technical difficulties with my computer. get this party started okay the feast first one is peanut butter nougat and i do apologize for the lighting issues it's it's gloomy and rainy out so and if i put that light in the background it just doesn't look right so this is a blast of flavors including peanut butter nougat vanilla bean and milk chocolate all topped with some tasty snicker pieces Snickers, favorite candy, probably in the whole wide world. I'm, I hopefully, let me know in the comments if you do what I do and I buy the little ones and I put them in my freezer. That's right, in my freezer. Okay, let's take a look at this cookie. Kind of a little messy. There we go, better focused. But I'm excited about the snicker. Really, really, really soft cookie. The um, peanut butter nougat you can taste, not really the vanilla bean. The Snickers is what makes that cookie. There's just something missing. Something missing on that cookie. I don't know what it is. All right, let's go to the next one. Look at this, though. Look at this thing. I can't even tip it upside down because it's got a giant or a tiny little cookie on there. I am going to take that off so I can cut into my cookie. This is the Blue Monster featuring Chips Ahoy. A cookie popping with brown sugar, semi-sweet chocolate chips, and Chips Ahoy cookie crumbs, then swirled with a creamy blue vanilla frosting, and then finished with mini Chips Ahoy cookie. That's a lot. That's a lot to say. See how fat that cookie was, too? Oh, my God. Oh! Holy Batman, Batmans. Whew. That was so hard to get into. Look how thick that cookie is. Gosh, I hope this frosting is good. Something's off about this cookie, too. I really don't taste the brown sugar. I taste the cookies, and I taste the frosting. 
Man. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is this week. Oh, you know what it could be? You know what I bet it is. You guys are going to have to bear with me. I bet you my taste buds are a little screwed up for me being sick because I got the head cold thing um, going on. That could be that could be a problem. I just got off the phone with my brother Greg, and I said, "Man, I hope I can taste these cookies because they look delicious." That might be the refined uh, tastes I can't find. Now this next one is almond coconut fudge. Now this cookie looks amazing, right? Perfectly put together. Just looks just like the picture. A rich chocolatey cookie topped with a spread of sweet coconut, melty milk chocolate, and crunchy almonds. Now, if you've seen my videos in the past, when it comes to coconut, you know what I'm going to tell you. Every time I eat coconut, it reminds me of coconut shrimp. Don't ask me why. I know it's weird, but, and I don't like it. I don't like coconut like the rest of the world does. Every time I eat it, it just reminds me of coconut shrimp. And I, and I don't like coconut shrimp. Holy moly. What are these things? Oh, man, that one doesn't even want to come out either. But it's schmutzless. You see that? No schmutz. I mean, a little schmutz, but... All right, I got to get one with the almond in there. Because I do like almonds. Okay, look. Look how thick that cookie is. Seriously, this cookie is another heavy, heavy, heavy cookie. Man, this thing is heavy. I got to get the almond in there. It's like a jam and almond joy. Not for me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Wow. That's way too much coconut. That is way too much coconut. Oh, that just gave me the shivers. Woo. Oh, that's going to... I just gonna have to take a double drink. Now that flavor, I can taste. Whoa, woo hoo hoo! This one, it's gonna be my favorite. I know it is. See it? Cornbread honey cake. Cornbread. I love cornbread. A cornbread and honey delight. A warm cornbread cookie topped with a sweet honey cream cheese frosting and a drizzle of golden honey and a crunchy cornbread streusel. You know how I love streusel? Man, I can't get that taste of that coconut on my mouth. Something ain't hitting right with that cookie. All right, this looks like a beautiful cookie too. I will say all these cookies did look outstanding today. Oh, look at the streusel. The cornbread has that gritty little taste you get from cornbread that I love. Taste a little sweetness of the honey. Um, the streusel was delicious. It's the frosting. 
It's the cream cheese frosting. I wish they would have done a different frosting. But beggars can't be choosers. I know a lot of you out there, my sister-in-law loves cream cheese frosting. Um, all right. Well, let's finish this up. Start with the cornbread honey cake. Not blown away. It's a good cookie. I'm going to have to give that a seven. The, um, the almond coconut cookie. It's just way too much coconut for me. I, I know you coconut fans are going to feel different about it. And I know everybody's got different tastes, but it's a four at best. Seriously, there's so much coconut on there. The Blue Monster Cookie, again, I think my taste buds didn't hit that a couple of those light notes. I'll give it a six and a half. And the Snicker Cookie, it's tied with my cornbread, honey. Um, I'll give that a seven also. So, well, everybody enjoy their Halloween. I know everybody did this weekend. That's basically when we celebrate it now because of things that have transpired in this world. Hope everybody has a great week. And I'm the big dog. Word up.